Hello, my name's Randall, aka Octo, that's my production name. I'm CEO of Baselight Records also. The song in the background is Abrax and Ben Benecki Across the Pond, part of our latest release. You can grab it for £1.49 from our Bandcamp. Links will be in the YouTube. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you about setting up a Korg Nanopad 2. Beautiful little piece of kit. Um, USB bits on the side. Your USB cable will come looking like that. It's in the opposite end of your box opposite end of your box. Don't be fooled into thinking you weren't sent one. Um, and also if you haven't done so, the software that you get with it are awesome, so use them. Um, so we're setting this up on FL Studio using the FPC. So first of all, open up FL Studio. I'll be working in 10. Some people like 11. Yeah, it's rubbish. 10. So all right. Next thing you'll need to do before you do anything is rather than working in your horrible primary sound card, use an ASIO for all driver. So you open up the options there. Go into audio. And if you haven't already got ASIO for all V2 set up, click that one. Now hit your show ASIO panel. If it's set up like this, don't worry. Click this little spanner like that. Drag these all up to full if you're running a computer as slow as mine. And bring the sample bar buffer size up a little bit. Here you'll see your latency time. Mine's currently 32 milliseconds not great but it's what I can work with so that's what you do then click on MIDI and if your device isn't already set up hit rescan MIDI devices bear in mind that you actually have to have it plugged in um, that helps so nanopad 2 will show up and down there this is the important part click there if it isn't already enabled click enable and we're ready to rock and roll so right click here insert FPC away we go so your nanopad will be set up with this light on first I don't like it that way I like it on two it sticks up to the E4 and above registry puts it somewhere in the middle of the keyboard which is nice I prefer that right as I run through the buttons you'll notice that a lot of them don't make sounds this is because this is set up all sorts of funny ways so what we need to do is we need to click this pad here um, this will bring up the first and top sound which is currently this little crash symbol now I want it to run down this way through the keys like so you can set it up however you like so what you first gonna need to do is recognize press this button hold it down and up the top here it'll tell you what node it is if I press the one above it it tells me it's an F4 if I press the one below it, it tells me E4 that's your lowest note there on your Korg pad so recognizing this we click here this will change it to this sample we then need to go here and if the focus would sort itself out that would be really nice Mr. Camera but it's not going to so you need to click there anyway realizing that that's an E4 brilliant focus is gone never mind recognizing that's an E4 we go over to here and click E4 ta-da that's set up next one we click on that pad you'll notice the sounds have changed and that my camera is slightly better in focus now we want to click there that was an F4 so, moving through the keys, you can see the first two are set up, and that we've also got a conflict on the fourth pad. That's fine, we can eliminate that. So you want to go through it systematically, so we just hit F4, so now we want F sharp 4, click this next pad, go through to here, and choose G4, it should work accordingly as I run through the pads we've set up those first four now what you need to do is do that for the next three sets and then before we do anything to stop this annoyance you can see there are three samples loaded up and they all play depending on how loud 
or how hard you press the pad. What I'm going to do real quick is just delete these other two by clicking on them and then hitting spread even. Do this for all the pads, all the samples and then go here press save preset as name it something easy um, nanopad 2 default is what I've called it um, and then you never have to do this again so you can just go into your presets hit nanopad 2 default and it's all set up next thing you want to do is change your samples so for the top you want a bass drum you click that top pad, you then click this little thing here, you go into desktop or wherever your samples are, mine are here, bass drums, select whichever one you want and it should work, for some reason mine didn't load up though, oh yes because I've got these in here clever move. Anyway, eventually you can set it up so that you have whatever you want and simple as that. To record your inputs simply go to this little recording button here. It will come up with a screen asking you what you want to do and you want to hit automation and score and hit record mash the keys wildly and then to play back you simply press there again perfect there's a club banger for you Avicii eat your heart out